Hello everyone, Dollar Currency 21 is here again. We want to talk about the Ichimoku, the Como Cloud, and the rest of the things. Okay, this is our Twitter account. Go and follow us. There is a lot of educational content on our Twitter account, and you will learn a lot of things. Okay, so we want to talk about the uh, we want to talk about the Ichimoku and Como Cloud. So uh, here's the thing. In previous session, we said that uh, the Como Cloud, here is the Como Cloud, is uh, made by two lines, Senko Espana A and Senko Espana B. Okay? Here is the Senko Espana B and here is the Senko Espana A. If the Senko Espana B is above the Senko Espana A, okay, uh, the Como Cloud will be bearish, red, and we are bearish. If the Senko Espana B is below the Senko Espana A, here like this we will be bullish and the common cloud will be green and uh, it shows that uh, we will go up okay uh, how I can uh, how I can find that which line is Senko Espana B and which line is Senko Espana A I'm not memorizing anything just consider that whenever you see a flat line like this that line uh, will be your Senko Espana B, okay? And the other one will be Senko Espana A. Why? Because the Senko Espana A is more sensitive and it's more noisier, okay? But the Senko Espana B is a stronger and it's a slow and lazy and uh, most of the times it will be flat. So just look for the flat lines. That line will be your Senko Espana B, okay? About the common cloud, the thicker the Como Cloud, the stronger the support or resistance, and vice versa. I mean, when you see a thin Como Cloud, that means that area is weak support or resistance, okay? So here, for example, we have a thick Como Cloud, big thick Como Cloud, so this area is strong. But we have a thin area here in Como Cloud, in this area, okay? It's thin, narrow, so it's weak, okay? If the price is below the common cloud, the common cloud will be your resistance. And if the price, like this area, is above the common cloud, the common cloud acts as a support for us. Okay? So this area, the common cloud acting as a support, but this area, the common cloud acting as a resistance for us. Okay? In this area, the common cloud is resistance. Why? Right? Because it's above the price. Okay? Uh, Usually, price wanted to break the common cloud from its narrow. Here, the common cloud is narrow and thin, so it's easier for price to break it to the upside. But here, as you can see, the common cloud is big, thick, uh, and uh, strong, so it's hard for price to break it to the upside. And usually, we will see some kind of rejection to the downside. Okay? Uh, Basically, we have three, three uh, phase for the price. If the price, if the price be below the common cloud, like this area, we remain bearish. During this whole phase, we are bearish. If the price is above the common cloud, we will be bullish, like this phase, okay? And if the price be inside the common cloud, like this area, Right now, price is inside the Como Cloud. We will be neutral because inside the Como Cloud is full of support resistances and high pressure area, and we will be neutral. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna show you some kind of uh, things here. Okay, look, for example, price here broke the Como Cloud, and look. It broke the common cloud from where it was thin, okay? Price broke the common cloud where it was thin. And exactly like here, price broke the common cloud where it was thin, okay? Why? Because it's, it's, it's weaker and it's easier for price to break a weak support or resistances, okay? But here, look, the common cloud was big, thick, and strong. So when the price wanted to try to break it to the downside, it couldn't, okay? And it bounced to the upside, okay? 
The thick como cloud acting like a trampoline for the price. Here, the como cloud act like a trampoline. And when the price wanted to break it to the downside, it act like a trampoline and bounce it to the upside. Okay? I'm going to show you some, uh, another example of the como cloud. For example, like this area. I'm going to give you an example. Here. Here, we have a big thick comma cloud, like this area, okay? And if you see price wanted to break it to the downside, okay? But at the first attempt, it couldn't to break it to the downside. So we bounce up and it act like a trampoline. The thick comma cloud act like a trampoline. But imagine if a fat guy with, for example, 500 kilos wanted to jump on a trampoline, that trampoline couldn't resist and it will tear apart eventually okay so the cell pressure was really big here really strong here and in other words the guy was too fat and the trampoline was tear apart eventually and we broke it to the downside okay so during this phase which is price is above the coma cloud we are bullish Inside the comma cloud, we are neutral, and when we broke it to the downside, we will be bearish here during this area. Okay, so one other thing about the comma clouds is the shape of the comma cloud also imp is important for us. For example, when you see the comma cloud is rounding like this, it means we are losing the steam and we are ready for uh, some kind of bearishness okay but on the other hand when we see the como cloud is steeping to the upside like this area and it's sharp to the sky okay we are bullish and it means the trend will be continued okay so whenever price broke the como cloud to the upside that's your first sign to be bullish for example here as you can see price broke the comma cloud to the upside I imagine if you just open a buy order just based on this signal okay and hold it until you see a close below the comma cloud that will be 500 450 or 460 percent just based on this sign I'm not gonna tell you to buy or sell based on breakout of the comma cloud no that's wrong this is one of the signs that telling us to be bullish, okay? So here, we broke the comma cloud to the upside and we closed above it. That's a bullish sign, okay? And here, we broke the comma cloud and closed below the comma cloud and that's a bearish sign, okay? And during a bull market, that will be a very good indicator. What do we see here, okay? Here price broke the comma cloud and closed above the comma cloud so at this level nineteen thousand dollar or twenty thousand dollar that was your trigger to open your long position okay and here still we are in the market and we didn't broke the comma cloud and we didn't close the comma cloud to the downside so we are still in the market and we are bullish actually as a matter of fact probably we will see some kind of bounce okay to the upside why because the comma cloud here acting as a support for us okay so price here acting as a support for us and if we close below this level i mean this level twenty five thousand three hundred dollar approximately if we see a daily candle close below this area which is senko hispanic b okay that's a bearish signs and you have to be ready to see lower levels, okay? And look, look how beautifully price showed a reaction to the bottom of the comma cloud. The bottom of the comma cloud, I mean the bottom of the bullish comma cloud or green comma cloud is Senko Espana B, okay? How did I find that? Because I just watched this flat line, okay? This flat line is Senko Espana B, the other line will be Senko Espana A. Here, as you can see, price wanted to break it and close below it. We didn't, okay? We bounced up strongly to the upside, okay? That's a bullish sign. Maybe we see some scenario here, maybe not. Who knows? We are ready for the both signs, okay? 
if we close below this level we will be bearish but if we bounce to the upside and break the senko span a to the upside and hold it for a couple of days that will be a bullish signs probably to the 32 maybe 40 thousand dollars okay okay i hope you enjoyed this session i will see you later bye i'm walking alone the streets are empty the only thing i can see is my own silhouette